Machiavelli Mills TV, y'all, I gotta give Country Wayne, I got the utmost respect for him. Seriously, I'm watching him on Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp's podcast, but I've always watched him in other interviews, man. Like, you can say what you want about the brother having 10 children by five different women, and you can feel how you want to feel about that. But you can't deny that the brother has a lot of stand-up qualities about himself. I admire the brother's ambition. I admire, I admire his drive. I, re, ad, I admire, excuse me, I admire his resiliency, and I respect his his thought process and his approach to a lot of things. You know, I remember Country Wayne. I was watching him for a while, but I remember he experienced a meteoric rise during the pandemic time. You know, during that time, we all were forced to sit down. We were forced to stay in the house. Forced to be looking at our phones a lot, looking at TV. It's a lot of ordering. We People was watching up some shows on TV during that time period, right? And Country Wayne knew that and capitalized on that. Like, he really gained a lot of his followers during the pandemic time. A lot of the people were always running to his content. And the way he was willing to play characters in his, in his skits. The drip character, right? Putting his kids into his skits, incorporating them. Like... You know, it, it really, he found his audience, he found his niche, and he hasn't let up one bit since then, man. Um, he monetized those skits that he does, and now people just love him. And then he turned that into getting an opportunity for a Netflix special. You know what I'm saying? So, I really got, I really respect Dude Hustle, man. You can say what you want, yes. Some people may not find him funny. Do I think, I've seen a, a little bit of the stand-up. I didn't find the stand-up that funny. But I love the skits that he does. I feel like they're hilarious. Some of the situations and things that he's made up, they are hilarious, man. And and um, you know, he has a, his most of his audience is older because he does clean comedy. But you gotta respect the brother Drive, man. Like he really has a giving spirit, a, a, a positive spirit, and a giving attitude. And I think that has them blessings has come back to him tenfold. He talked about being able to pay one of his dudes that works for him about a million dollars, right? making $20 million off of social media, you know, doing shows, all of that, man, that is real, real stand-up business, grown man business, man, and I admire that, man, um, for all the hating that Phase on Love has done against him, first of all, that little bit, he kept coming back to Phase on Love, dropping bombs on Phase on Love, like we was in Baghdad or something, like, God, late, that shit, that, I said, yo, he kept coming on, like, he kept Dropping bombs on Faison head over and over again. Like, and I'm like, yeah, and Faison deserved deserve that because he always was trying to slight Country Wayne for no reason. Throwing shots for no damn reason but to be hating. But Faison hit on everybody, so it's really not a surprise and shock. So when Cat Williams is going at Faison, I'm like, yeah, Faison deserved that. Because Faison throws shots at any and everybody. Davies, Jay-Z, Cat Williams, Country Wayne. He... Get on everybody. He don't like nobody. Unless he been in the movie with you and you know y'all hooked kicked it y'all kicked it a few times, you smoke some weed with him. Other than that, he hates you. But yeah, man, uh um Country Wayne be doing like I didn't see them post video after video, like every day posting content. Sometimes three videos in a day, three, four videos in a day, just going crazy, put posting continuations of skits. Getting people to believe in what he's doing to where they are invested in the characters in the skit. They're invested in the children in the skit. The the uh the woman is with an older woman named Ro. She fine too, right? Invest in her. The dude, I think his name is Mike. Dude put invest in him in the skit. They everybody is invested in these characters and they waiting to see what he's gonna do next. And that is a gift, whether you like it or not, whether you think it's funny or not, it's a gift to get people to keep coming back and listening to you. To get people galvanized, just just to be like up and roar about, oh, I got to see him. I got to check him out. I got to check him out. I got to check him out. You know what I mean? And it takes a lot of resiliency and determination to keep posting content like that every day. Because it, it ain't in everybody. Some people got to post once a week, once every two weeks. The brother hustle is phenomenal. Then he revealed, man, I'm not using no big high quality camera. It's all off the phone. All off my phone. We getting it done and we putting it out there to, for the world to see. And I respect it because everything ain't going to be perfect. I shoot this stuff off my phone. He like, yo, I ain't doing no editing, man. We just shooting it out. We shooting it out. We shooting it out. And 
sometimes you you you'll stop yourself. Okay, I don't have no editing software. I don't have the right cameras. I don't have the right the lights. This and the third. Sometimes you you just gotta do it. Take that leap of faith and see what happens. And he seen he you see what happened for him, man. And I I only respect a dude like that, man. A dude who found himself in a situation. You got all these kids, mouths to feed. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna go to nothing illegal. I'm not gonna sell no drugs. I'm not going to be out here stealing from folks. I'm not going to be out here scamming. I'm not going to be out here um, zero, zeroing out my people's accounts. I'm not going to be doing none of that, man. I'm going to be out. I'm, I'm going to use my gift, gift of gab, my gift of comedy, and I'm going to entertain the world, especially during a time of the pandemic where everybody was just looking to be entertained by something. You know, so that, that says a lot about his character. He spoke about his mom passing away when he was 11 years old and talk about, you know, she having a real bad headache, and they telling her, "Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a something about a, it was some was some type of pinched nerve, some nerve, you know, some nerve problem in her neck or her head or a neck or something like that." And she like, "No, this ain't no nerve issue." And he like, "Yo, the the hospital that she went to in a poor town, small town, don't have no many resources. You don't have the appropriate tools to tell you what's really happening, what's going on with you." His mom was experiencing bleeding in her head, and she died oh, oh, during that span of a week after his birthday. And he spoke about how after that happened, you know, um, his drive really been on go mode. He understood like, yo, this is the worst thing that probably could happen to me. I got to make some shake. I'm paraphrasing, but yeah, I got to make something happen. Um, I experienced the worst part. Now I want to make something happen. Now I want to, I want to be able to, to help people, even help the mothers of my children. Cause he's seen what happened with his mom. His mom died. She died with a broken heart, but also she had she was had broken pockets, broke pockets. And that's what he said. She had broke pockets. My father, he said his father only helped her when they were on good terms. You know, and so he like, yo, I don't never want that to be a situation. You know what I mean? Even if we I'm not on good terms with my children's mother, I'm gonna make sure my kids got what they got and they gonna have what they need, you know what I mean, in order to keep going along. Cause you know, I feel like I feel like if I bless other people, then blessings gonna come back to me. God bless me to bless folks. You know, and, and, you know, I salute that mindset. I salute that mindset. I salute that brother's drive and his foresight. Some brothers jump off ship when things ain't going the way they supposed to go, right? Uh, I've been doing this, this, uh, this making these videos on this channel for years, since 2019. Some people say, man, you still making these videos. You still ain't doing nothing. You still ain't, woo, woo, right? I ain't tripping, though. I'm going to get where I got to get. All this going to pay off, and I ain't really tripping, man. I'm going to get where I'm supposed to be. And I'm going to keep being consistent, keep being consistent. It's going to work out for me, man. I ain't, I ain't really, I'm not really tripping, man. I I, I feel like I, I, I'm going to get out what I put in. And this ain't going to be for nothing. Because at the end of the day, I want my gift to be able to take care of my children. To take, take care of me, put me in a better position. Now I work a regular job, but I do this too, man. This is fun sitting there talking to y'all. But this is really a passion of mine. I went to school for journalism, for broadcast journalism, print journalism. I've been writing since I was a young, young cub. Had my own radio show, own TV show at school, right? Um, did color commentating, did um, um, spoke, did uh, sideline reporting at the football games. All of those things was uh, on yearbook staff, wrote for the school newspaper, wrote, wrote for the school web page, all of that. So my passion has always been media. So me sitting here in front of y'all doing this, I love it. And it's going to pay off. But I'm looking at Pretty Wayne, man. That's a dude you got to respect and salute from all the, the circumstances he, that he that happened to him. About 22 years old, I think he said he has seven children. That is ridiculous, right? But he kept pushing. So you know what? I'm going to push whatever the dreams I got aside. I'm going to make sure I'm able to feed these babies, take care of them, and, and feed them three times over and that's what he's done and i can only respect that man you can only uh admire a guy who tries something who tries something and, and puts their all into it and don't you know don't don't feel like oh don't go into it with pessimistically like oh my god i'm not gonna be able to do it. i'm not gonna no man i'm gonna prove the world wrong and he's doing just that whether you like him or think he's funny or not seems to be a, a, a real stand-up guy Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.